Hi guys, uh, Terry here. Um, in this video, I'm going to be looking at question 5 in the July 2021 CSEC AdMats Paper 2. Alright, um, if you haven't done so as yet, please hit subscribe and like. Alright, so question 5, we have an integration here to perform. So we want to integrate 2x squared plus 3x dx. Alright. Now, to integrate this, all we need to remember is our simple rule here for integration. It is x to the power n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus c, right? So I'm going to integrate each part separately. So I'm going to integrate 2x squared by itself. So this is going to be 2x, 2 plus 1, that's going to be cube over 3 plus 3x squared over 2 plus c, right? So that's going to be my answer for the first part. That's a straightforward um, integration, right? Um, the next one now, we have a part two here. We want to integrate 2 sine 3x dx, right? That's what we want to integrate. So what we can do, we can write this, this 2 here. We can bring that in front of the integral sign. So this becomes sine 3x dx, right? Now, the integral of sine x, right? So these are some rules that we need to know. Is going to be minus cosine x plus c. If I also had to integrate sine ax dx, it's going to be minus 1 over a cosine ax plus c, right? So what I'm going to be using is this one here. So this is going to be 2, right? Open brackets, minus 1 third cosine 3x plus c so this is going to be minus 2 thirds cosine 3x plus c right so that's going to be my answer for that part now this next part here using an integration method calculate the area of the region in the first quadrant on the Okay, so we have y is equal to 3 sine x, right? So 3 sine x actually looks like this, right? Where this is 0, this is pi, and this here is 2 pi. So in these questions, we're working in radians, right? So it's y is equal to 3 sine x, all right? Where this here is going to be 3. And what they want us to do, they want us to work out this area. Now, I don't like how this question is worded, right? Because this graph is a periodic graph, and therefore you have more than one region that is above your x-axis, right? But what I'm going to do here, I'm going to say that the area is equal to the integral. So the equation here is sine 3x. I mean, sorry, 3 sine x dx. And the limits here, because I want to get that area there, this area A here, it's going to be between pi and 0. So what I can do, I can pull out the tree and write this as the integral of pi 0 sine x dx. So leave this tree right here. Now the integral of sine x is going to give me minus cosine x. And your limits of the integration will be pi and 0. So this is going to be 3 open brackets. This is going to be minus cosine pi. So you're substituting pi and 0. Minus, minus cosine of 0. So this is going to be 3 open brackets. Now make sure your calculator is in radians for this, please. All right? Um, plus 180. So this here is negative 1, but we have one minus sign here, so this will be plus 1, minus, and then cos of 0 should be 1, so this is negative, negative 1, right, which is going to be 3 multiplied by 2, and you're going to get 6 units squared, right, because this is the area we're working out here, right, so this is going to be 6 units squared. The next part of the question a particle starting from rest travels in a straight line with an acceleration e given by t is time in seconds. Alright, so this is important here. 
the particle starts from rest. So that means that when t is equal to zero, right, your velocity is equal to zero and your displacement is going to be zero. This is important because we will have to find our constants at some point. Now, you have acceleration is equal to t squared and they said they want to know what is the velocity. So when I integrate acceleration, I'm going to get velocity, right? When I integrate acceleration, I'll get velocity. So your velocity is equal to the integral of my acceleration. In this case here, your acceleration is t squared, right? So this is going to be t cubed over 3 plus c. But we need to figure out what the c is, right? So we're going to use the fact that when t is equal to 0, v is equal to 0. So therefore, 0 is equal to 0 cubed over 3 plus c. So therefore, my constant here for this here is going to be 0. So the velocity that they are asking me for is given by t cube over 3 plus c. That's my answer, right? t cube over 3 plus c. Second part, calculate the displacement of the particle in the interval 0 to, to 2. Now, your displacement right, is actually your integral of your velocity. So displacement, now remember we worked out the velocity already, it's t cubed over 3. Right? So therefore, I'm going to integrate t cubed over 3 dt in order to get my formula for my displacement. Right? So this here, I can write this as 1 third times the integral of t cubed dt. So this is going to be 1 third multiplied by t fourth over 4 plus c. So this here is going to be t4 over 12 plus c. So that's my formula for my displacement, right? It's going to be t4 over 12 plus c, right? Now, we also can work out a constant here because we know that when t is equal to 0, your displacement had to be 0. So therefore, 0 is equal to 0 fourth over 12 plus c. So again, this is going to work out and give us c is 0. So my displacement formula is equal to t4 over 12, right? Now the question wants to know what is the displacement of the particle in the interval 0 to 2. So what we need to do, we're going to say when t is equal to 0, s is equal to 0 cube over Oh, sorry, not cube. Our formula is this formula here. So it's going to be 0 to the power 4 over 12, and that's going to give me 0, right? So that's my displacement as 0. Um, when t is equal to 2, my displacement is going to be 2 to the power 4 over 12. So that's 2 twos are 4 twos are 8 twos are 16. So that's 16 over 12, and that's going to give me 4 over 3. Right? So therefore, my um, displacement in that interval right, is going to be right, it's simply going to be 4 over 3 minus 0, right, which is going to give me 1.33 um, did I say meters per second? But it just said time in seconds, right? So we don't know what is a unit. So we're just going to say units, right? I don't know. They didn't say meters or centimeters. So the answer is just 1.33, right? So that brings us to the end of question five. Um, so like I said, guys, for those of you who need maths, ad maths, um, chemistry and physics classes, I do give online classes. So you can send me a WhatsApp at this number, right? Please remember to hit like and subscribe to my channels, right?